Good morning. Hey, good morning, Taylor. How are you? Well, uh, I'm all right other than the Zoom controls. I keep going away. Um, okay. Yeah. How, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I couldn't attend the last two meetings because we had some um, Nirmata trainings going on. All right. So, yeah, I couldn't make it. So yeah, I joined this week and yeah, I wanted to discuss a few things. Okay. I posted the meeting notes to the Zoom chat. Um, you can drop your topic in there and put your name in. Okay. We'll get we'll get started about five after. Um, so another three minutes. We may have um, low attendance today uh, because it's Martin Luther King Jr. holiday in the U.S. Right. Greetings. Hi, Shabana. All right, let's get started here. The four of us. All right, Shabana, is this your first meeting? Hello, yes, it's my first time. All right, 
So today is a uh, welcome. Um, today's a little bit of a off day, so please come back on a regular day. It's a U.S. holiday today, so there's a lot of people that are taking off, and um, even people that aren't in the U.S. Uh, may be associated with companies there, and and they have off or or something of that effect. So there's going to be less people. Um, although I see a couple joining. Hi, Ben. Taylor. Hi, guys. Hey. So Shabana, um, this is one of a few initiatives that the CNCF has for focused on telecom. Um, the working group is focused around documenting and discussing um, best, pra best practices for cloud native best practices for telecom applications and platforms, how the applications run on platforms, specifically Kubernetes, and how we can improve them, as well as looking at the context around use cases, user stories, um, any type of supplemental information. When people run into problems, we want to document that sort of thing. And um, a related initiative uh, that has its own call is the cloud native network function um, or CNF test suite. And that one is focused on writing tests around best practices that can test applications. All right, so um, Cigar, did you have a topic you wanna add? Um, yeah, for today's discussion, yeah, I was just, um, you know, uh, going to discuss some best practices. Okay. Um, just yeah, put that in to the yeah. list here. Sure. Ben, do you have anything? Honestly saying, I, I didn't have a single minute to touch the documents. I got only one uh, one response, one comment, but um, I didn't have any time to, to, to develop it more. All right. Something, really, something new. I think a lot of folks are, uh, were, have been busy with the new year starting and the initial planning and all that sort of thing. Okay, um, Shabana, do you have anything that you would like to add to the agenda? We normally just have people put their names here in the, and, and maybe it's not in the notes, but I'll put it in, I'm sorry, in the Zoom chat. So the meeting notes and you can add your name and if there's any topic you'd like to discuss, we can add it to the agenda. All right. Um, I will. Uh, okay, so should I just like put my name in there? Yes, please. I'm really just... to... Okay. Okay. Fine. Mm -hmm. Just drop your name in there, and if there's something you want to talk about, you can just put it down into the agenda section. All right. I'll open the poll request. See what we have here. Um. So I'm gonna work from oldest really quick. I'm pretty sure that there's been no activity on this one, but we should probably see um, some more activity over the next few weeks. Uh, Jeffrey Salen's moved jobs, so he should be more active. Let's see if there was anything new. Um, six days ago. All right, there's just a tool thing that probably can be added to the discussion board. Hey, Tom. I think it's Hello. going to be a little bit quiet today, Tom, because uh, most, well, the U.S. folks are off for the holiday, as you're probably aware. Yep. 
All right. Um, let's see if we got any comments on this one. So we have a, and the, for those that aren't familiar with this, we have people contributing uh, content around user stories, use cases, and then some are working directly on best practices. It's really whatever is of interest and where you want to um, add stuff. This particular one is around when a best practice doesn't work for a, a company, then they should document it. We want to make sure that it's communicated to the end users of whatever the products. If something isn't following a practice, why it's not, and that they can easily see that and then make decisions on it. It may have very valid reasons, which is communication. Um, and there's a whole uh, write up around this motivation and other stuff. So this is a draft of what'll be the best practice. Uh, hey Taylor, um, yeah, I had a quick question on that. So I was working on um, like, I think one or two proposals that like we discussed uh, in the month of December. Uh, mm -hmm. do, do you want me to directly go ahead and uh, create a pull request or you want it to be reviewed first by internally? Uh, yeah, just wanted to check with you on that. So it's really up to you um, on how you feel about the, the state of it. I mean, okay. if, so this particular um, pull request, mm -hmm. it has a both a draft best practice, that's what this is, about uh, documenting and stuff, the compliance. So let users explain what they're compliant with and all this stuff. It also includes um, some use case information that'll be extended there. So if you feel like you have enough content, then feel free to put that in. I mean, it, probably one of the ones that are easier to see would be like the user stories. So if you've already written up something that covers a bunch of items like this, these user stories, then feel free to put a pull request. So one of the things as far as reviews, what you're saying, getting a review is pull requests are actually pretty nice. Let me open this one. Pull requests are pretty nice for reviews. I mean, you can put something in there and if someone has a suggestion, let's say it's a simple spelling um, update, well, they're, they can quickly uh, suggest edit. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll just yeah. Uh, you know, update my draft and then create the pull request. If you don't feel like it's ready, then feel free to create, you know, like a shared Google doc. Um, mm -hmm. Ben, uh, if I'm recalling right, Ben's yours was a Google Doc, and um, you can then request people to come and add comments and stuff there. Uh, some people use Markdown, so you could do something like HackMD or whatever and just share it. So it's really what whatever you feel comfortable with, and then okay. put the pull request in when you're ready. Okay. Sounds now, we good. don't want to pull requests with just like a title. <laughs> but if you actually feel like you have enough content and enough sections and you can always mark them as a, a work in progress, a whip like this and keep it that way, but you're wanting people to review it. Got it. Okay. All right. So this one, Stateful User Stories, um, Oliver, um, they're going to be on vacation today in the U.S., so you probably won't hear anything. But this is, this is, is around, I think this is going to be related to a lot of applications um, that we're going to see specifically for telecom dealing with data and needing to think about state. So use cases and user stories, these happen to be related to a charging and accounting type application for a, five, a 5G charging and accounting. But I think a lot of the concepts and stuff that are needed in these are gonna be useful other places. Um, 
to getting some feedback. And then we want to get this merged pretty quickly, specifically user stories and use cases. We want to get them merged quickly and then iterate any changes on them, updates, because they provide context for a larger group of people. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go on to the next one. So this one is new and pretty straightforward. Hey, is it time to change this? Change meeting time. All right, I think this one can just be merged. And it looks like we already got an approval. And All right, thanks Lucina. And that's it, we're through the pull requests. I'm gonna move back over here and I'm gonna stop my screen share and you can talk about best practices, Cigar. Sure, Taylor. Um, yeah, I think one of the proposal that I was working is, um, so having your um, um, you know, applications pull images from uh, known registries and um, in addition to that, I was um, also thinking that we should uh, sign the image signatures that we use in our application. Um, let me quickly share my screen for a second. So, um, so I think it would be uh, really good that we validate our images uh, that we use in our deployments. For example, um, what we can do is we can verify the signatures associated with images. And I think these days it's very important in the um, supply chain security that we do that. Um, and we know from where the images are being pulled and the signatures associated with those images is validated. So we have a, like a Kiverno policy that does it. Um, so whenever you sign a particular image, um, the signature is stored in an OCI registry. Um, so what we can do is we can verify its signature um, by using its public key. Um, and I think this is um, really important. And to extend this, we can also uh, you know, validate the attestation of the image. That is one option. Um, so I just wanted to discuss this. So what, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Um, this is probably relate to that supply chain attack. And this will be part of defense against supply chain attacks. Yes, and yeah, we, we can also validate the um, build information associated with that particular image. Like what is the repository URL? What is the image name and stuff like that? And I think... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, that will give us very useful information to validate uh, whether you're using the right images for your application. So this is one of the, yeah, this is what I was going to add to my existing proposal that I was working. And um, yeah, in addition to this, I have written some more, um, but just wanted to, you know, discuss some of them before I create a draft version. Um, there is this um, using certificates. Um, um, so if we, if we have to uh, upgrade the um, certificates um, that your application is using, then we can mount those certificates as volume and um, you know, this will help kind of in the automation. Um, so I was not really sure if 
it can be a best practice. Can we do that? I think um, I'd need to see a little bit more about this one, but I mean, it's it's anything can be proposed as far as a best practice. Uh, so I'd, I'd, like, to, so I'd like to see more information about why this particular one is a best practice. So, so I, I, it's just not, not clear to me what is the proposal here. I mean, what kind of certificates mapped into what kind of C certificates are mapped into which pods, and what what and what is the? And yeah, what, this is right. So the, basically, if you want to update your uh, CA Trust store, um, you know, you can bundle all those certificates and um, you know map it as a config map to your deployment. I think uh, this is so the idea is to mm -hmm. the idea is to 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 detach the 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 cert C certificates from the container image and and uh, a, a, and map it from from a config map, right? Yeah, that way, like you don't have to include it as part of your Docker file or anything. So yeah, maybe uh, this. There is a the, uh, there is a well-known fact that that if you want to prepare a, a, a flat image, where you know you don't want to uh, build your image based on on, on you know on flat base images, and you want to want uh, want to flat go uh, application side. Then the only problem usually is actually what you're telling here that there are no CA certificates inside. So this is sounds like uh, in that case uh, uh, an interesting solution for that problem specifically. Right. So I mean, um, if we have to any, if you have to basically update any certificates um, instead of having your application build an image with that certificate, you can just mount it as a config map. Um, this, this is more like automation, but I, I just wanted to, you know, um, check with you guys if it can be a best practice. But yeah, I'm going to create a draft with more information and share it. So you know, you can review and you know, see if it can be a best practice. No, I, I'm not sure. You know, it's it, it, it's from my uh, in in my point of view, it's it's a little bit borderline because because there are some uh, some places where this is needed, but but. But most of the, I think most of the industry solved this problem without um, without you know mapping config maps. Um, so therefore, for me, it's a little bit borderline. But but I you know I'm just one. I'm happy to hear what the others think. I think. Okay. So um, one. I think I remember is some best practices or some practices may be more of bonuses and versus a requirement type of thing. This is a little bit easier on the, I think the test suite side. There's, there's things that on the test suite where we would think if you don't have this, then you can't claim your cloud native at all. And then there's things where it's more of, if you're doing this, it's helpful, but it's not a hard requirement. And it kind of feels like this might be in that area. I'm, I'm just not quite clear either. From a testing standpoint, I think as far as like a test capability, I could see it useful on the CNF test suite. But I'd, I'd, I'd like to see more write-up Cigar and maybe more context with use cases or user stories on that particular one. Oh, okay. image okay. scanning. The image though scanning, I think, is going to be critical going forward. I think Ben, do you all have something around image scanning as well? Yeah, we do have an image scanner. Actually, we our image scanner is based on another uh, CN, uh, other open source project called uh, uh, Gripe by Encore. If you know it, actually, I think it's one of the best vulnerability scanners. And we simply are packaging it for Kubernetes clusters. So it's rather we are giving a wrapping around that. 
Uh -huh. but, but for for the, actually the reason why we are using is is more not just to provide uh, image scanning on itself, but 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 more to to enable you to identify uh, uh, vulnerabilities which are public facing and and some things which have to be you know priority prioritized. Okay, so it's not general vulnerability scanning, but it's rather to take actions in the Kubernetes cluster. All right. Any other uh, comments, thoughts, discussion? Thank you, Cigar. Yeah, hey, Taylor. I had one more thing. Um, yeah. Like regarding the Kiverno integration with the uh, CNF, right? Um, I have written the code for the, um, you know, some of the best practices that we discussed. Um, um, so can I go ahead and um, uh, there were some policies which are, um, you know, which are already there in the CNF test suite. So I was thinking whether to include them or not. Um, so how do we, uh, you know, do we have to shortlist before uh, creating a pull, re pull request or I just create it and then we can discuss it further. For adding a new test to the test suite? Yeah. Um, so I would suggest create a ticket for the test that you're going to do and you can um, add some info there and then feel free to go ahead and do a pull request and reference the ticket. And then we can do a review there. Okay. Yeah, sure. We'll do that. Um, you check out the, the, if you haven't looked lately, but the usage guide, um, specifically around like security, the security category and the resilience and availability, uh, there's more documentation around those tests. Um, we're trying to have information about the importance of why are we testing this? What is it doing? And that sort of thing. And of course, any reference links back for more content is fine as well on those. Uh, but that okay. would be part of the tie-in that we'd want before we would merge a pull request. So there's okay. the code for testing, the documentation around it, why it's there. And then um, the other part would be uh, spec test that validate that the test is working as expected. Right, okay. Um, but I, I think you have a lot of examples around that at this point and feel free to reach out. But yeah, go ahead and just create an issue and then you can create a pull request, um, either fully open or put it in a draft and uh, feel free to ping folks like Denver, uh, who joined the call just now. Hey, Denver. Um, okay. And we'll take a look. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think that, that's all I had for my third. Does anyone have anything else? All right. Tom, I don't know if you've been updating that walkthrough for people, ops type people that is a checklist. Are you are you doing this? If yes, you're thanking cloud native and so on. If you've been updating it, but I think it'd be good to bring back forward um, and share with the group again. There's a lot of new people that haven't seen it. Not today, but just in the future, if, if you're willing to. 
Sorry, which 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 document was that? Sorry, that you had that spreadsheet that kind of was a walkthrough for ops type people on checking if 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 people are thinking in a cloud native way. Oh, blimey. That's, uh, that's <laughs> testing my memory. <laughs> All right. I'll reach out to you and ping you. I may have yeah. a link to it. But yeah, it, was okay. just kind of, it was thinking from an operations perspective and just kind of a walkthrough of, are you doing this? Are you doing that? Sort of. Ah, OK. Yeah. 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 No, that rings a bell, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, if you, if you ping me and just <laughs> I'll see if I can find the document. Um, in, in terms of whether people have been using it, I'm not sure. I can I can try and find out though. All right, sounds good. All right. Well, we'll stop here unless anyone has anything else. No, well, good. Thanks. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Good day. Bye, Thank guys. you. Next week. Have a good day. Bye.